What, what feelings do you get telling somebody you're from Venice, California? Man, I, that's prideful, man. You know, it, it ain't nothing like it, man. It's, you got you to got say it with your chest, like I'm from Venice, cuz. You niggas already know what that means, man. Yeah. I'm Six Boy, I'm from Venice, California. Okay. Some people know me as Zay. So for, for the people in our generation, all the 90s babies, anybody watching this, what do you think the plan of action should be for us to be able to get our community back to what we grew up with? What, how we had it growing up where, you know, the person across the street is going to know your mama, your daddy, your auntie, your uncle, yeah. and your grandma and go look out for you. How do you think we get it back to that place? Or do we get it back to that place? We could. I mean, we got to just... Just keep our kids around here, like you know. I mean, you know, when people start having kids and stuff, they you know keep them, keep them together, like how we was. But you know, we gotta you know put our minds together, start getting some properties or something, start, start try, trying to get a business out here or something like that. You know, put everything that we that we that we get. You know, we put our mind, you know, to buy this shit back. You know, to you know see how we can how we come up. You know, to make it a community like how we how we grew up. Because yeah. it's not impossible. It's it's very possible. We got we got to be the ones to figure out how to do it, and if we really want to do it like that. Yeah. I, I I wouldn't want my kids to grow up nowhere but here. Yeah. Even though Venice is so much different, you still want your kids to grow up out here. Yeah, cause it's, it's you know, you know you you know your enemies, you know your problems and stuff like that. So you you know what to watch out for. You know what looks different, and you know you go out you go out somewhere else, man. You could be mis mis mistaken for somebody else, you know that way. But if you if, when you stay right here. You know who your people, who your people are, so you know if anything looks different or not. Do you ever see yourself living any any other city or country outside of Venice, California, or state? Do you see yourself ever long term living somewhere else? I would I, I would have a vacation home somewhere else, but like like home where I, you know I, I would want it to be at, you know California, Venice Beach type shit. You know that's where I want to. But you know you gotta have a vacation home. You gotta you gotta get away sometime. Yeah. It ain't, it ain't nothing wrong with getting away, but you know, but I always want to come back here. I always want to be able to come back. Like I like, like I, I, I was out the hood for like, you know, I say like a week and a half, you know, just doing business shit, like you know, music and stuff like that. What I was just, what I was just doing. So I was out the way for like a week and a half. Yeah. But when I, when I jumped on that 90 today, man, like I just felt good, man, coming, coming to the venue. I'm like, damn. I'm, I, I see people be talking about when they, when they, when they out the hood, they come back like. It ain't nothing like it, man. I was happy as fuck to be come, to be pulling up on the block. Yeah. Doing rapping and stuff, you were out. How did you first get into rapping? What was the was there anything that that made that pushed you to, to be like I want to rap? Uh, my, my my close friend Gerald, like you know he he he, he like he like a personal security guard for you know a couple of people and stuff like that. Yeah. And so me just hanging around him and you know and you know and, and what he was doing at the time. You know, we go in the studios with a couple of people, different people and stuff like that. He would just like, you know, put pick the mic up, man. You know, you got a story to tell. So I, I just put my story on, uh, you know, on a, on a paper, man. And you know, and spoken into a mic, and then this, that, that's this where we at right now. Where do you see your future going with rap? What do you see for yourself within the next few years or five years, rapping? Uh, where do I see myself? Uh. I just, you know, I'm just gonna put on for my peoples, man. I, I don't really wanna, you know, give myself, I don't wanna set no bar for myself, but. No limits? Yeah, I don't wanna set no limits for myself, but I do, you know, I see I see myself being able to help my, like what I'm doing right now, I see myself being able to help my community out a lot. Like, you know, possibly building, possibly buying back the, back, back the city, you know, with, with this music. That's that's what I do see myself doing. Anything other than that, that'll, that'll just be a plus. But what I wanna do, I wanna help build this back. In building it back, do you feel like it would be fine to have mansions for you and your family members? Or would you wanna have modest homes? Or how do you foresee no, that? No, I mean, I deserve a mansion. I'm a king, so you know I deserve a mansion. But if I could have, if I could have a mansion in, and six of my people's gonna have a match, and that that'd, that'd be that'd be better. I don't want to I don't want to live in a match by myself. Yeah. I mean, it, it's cool, you know. You got to you know you got to separate yourself from stuff like that. But it ain't nothing wrong with living in no match. Trust me, I'm not gonna never say that. But <laughs> I would want my I would want more people to like you know around me living in these big homes too. Yeah. Especially if, if it's out here. If you were to have a vacation home, do you feel like it would be in uh, California? Do you feel like you want to be by coast? Do you feel like you want to be another another country or? Well, what do you what do you think? Because you said you wanted to have you know more than one one place. Yeah. Where where else do you think you would be? Uh, and if I could get a if I, if I could get a house anywhere on Sixth Ave, 
in Venice, man. I wouldn't even. It, it'd be right there, man. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it could be, it could be close to the beach, close to the water. But I, I want, I want to come back on six, man. That's where I was born. Yeah. I took my first, first, first breath of air on, on six. Yeah. So I, 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 I want to, you know, wake up and go to sleep on six side. Yeah, the homie Gerald got you in the rap and say you had a, a story to tell. Um, how have you changed since you started getting to this music game? Have you changed at all? Uh, I don't think I changed, like you know, I, but I, I have got wiser though. Okay. I have I have smartened up, you know, a lot, you know, stuff like that. You know, it's it's uh, it just it just, it just make it just make me think more, make me make me think about you know certain situations a little different and shit like that. But uh, I wouldn't really say I changed, you know, but I, I did get wiser for sure. Yeah, has the flow changed since you started rapping? Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I got I got more comfortable with it for sure. So now it just it comes a lot easier than it did before. Where can people uh, listen to your music? And where can people find you on uh, streaming platforms or YouTube or wherever else? Uh, you, you can find it on all streaming platforms. You know, Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you listen to it. And you know, YouTube, Six Boy. All you gotta do is six six i i x with a space in between b o y Six Boy. You know, you just look that up. You can find you know type in, in go to your Google. You there. They, they let you know where I'm at or what I'm doing. Yeah. You have a, a song so far that you put out, uh, or a music video that you put out, that's your favorite? Or do you like them all the same? I fuck for them all because, like, you know, I fuck the directors and stuff like that, whoever, you know, the people I, I, I dealt with during, during the video, you know, for the videos. Yeah. So I can't really say I got a favorite one, but, you know, the, I, I fuck with Out the Mud for so heavy. That's, that's like my, that's my favorite song, man, just because we really got it out the mud being from Venice, man. Like, people don't believe that. They, they, they think it was all, it was like, you know, just palm trees and sunshines all, every, every day. Nah, man, we, we had to struggle just like anybody else. A nigga got it out the mud. Ain't no nigga ever gave me shit. A nigga got it out the mud. Manicure, bank account full of blue bills. Six boy been with the funks. I play broke, niggas always want shit. I was young too, I was on some dumb shit. Not now though, grown up shit. Think about it, read about it. Don't, don't doubt, come and see about it. Louis Vuitton, she took my feet about it. Wanna know if he a killer, bring the heat around her. They think just because we had the beach and we had a little easier or whatever. No, but, it, you know? but it wasn't though, man. Yeah. It wasn't. Uh, One thing about me, I am a nigga from the beach though, for sure. Yeah. That's what I would never change, no matter how far I go, where I go. Yeah. Born and raised, for sure. Born and raised, big V's, man. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me what people should be on the lookout for? For you, with music, with anything? Within the future? Oh, I got a, I got a tape. It, it was supposed to drop. Uh, it was supposed to drop yeah. like six months ago. A tape, like a mixtape, like or an album, album. Like, like you know, my, my first, my first debut album. I, I've been supposed to drop it like six months ago, but I've just been working. You know, every every day you get new ideas, so you want to write a new song, so you can never really figure out which one you really want to put on the tape. Yeah. But it's that should be coming out for sure. With, by by December for sure. I, so I, 2021 December. Yeah, okay. yeah, 2021 December for sure. Okay. Um, and do you know how many songs is gonna be on the tape? Uh, right now, right now we got we got 14. That's that's written down. But I, I want that's what I'm saying. I want to I want to lower that. I want to lower the number probably like 10, 11. And then I I, I feel like I, I got a few more songs that I'm working on that I wanna I wanna put on there as well before I, that's why I said before I just give it out. So I want this it's my first one, I want it to be the best one. It's my debut album. Yeah, I, I, I dropped a mixtape and shit, I got hella singles and shit. Yeah. But I, I haven't dropped no album yet. So what's all that goes into to making an album? <laughs> For somebody that doesn't know too much about the music industry or about, you know, creating an album, what does it take to, to, to get that album to the vision that you want? Oh man, I, um, what does it take? Uh, really, just it just it really just it's just about my lifestyle, man. What I seen, what I seen growing up and stuff like that. Yeah. These Venice streets and shit like that, like you know, and, and what I wanna and what I want out of life and shit like that, and what I wanna build. And shit with me, I just live the lifestyle type shit, man. Yeah. And, you know, I just put it, I just put it on the beat. What feeling do you get being on stage rapping to a crowd of oh, people? Man, that's you know it. 
I used to be nervous, man, but it, I, I I done got I done grew on to it. So I, I be I be performing and stuff a little bit more. So like the feeling, man, it's just like it's just me there, man. And, you know, and it's just it's just, it's just I just like see I just like when when, other, when people in the crowd know my lyrics. Yeah. And I, it ain't no feeling like that, cause some people some people live this lifestyle that I live. So it's like you know it, it just feel good when they they actually know what I'm talking about. Do you feel like your music speaks to a certain type of people, or do you think your music speaks to universally everybody? I think everybody. Every song probably won't be for everybody. Some people some of the songs be for my peoples and stuff like that. You know we big crips out here and all this shit. Yeah. But you know, but it, it's universal. Universal though, cause like you know, everybody listen to my shit. I got white boys listen to my shit, Mexicans. Everybody support the movement. And I think that's a part of me being from Venice because you know there's so many cultures out here. So could you envision or imagine yourself going on a world tour, traveling the world, doing your music oh, yeah, and yeah. having shows? Yeah, that's my goal right there. I, 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 I want to fill up venues every 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 night. That's what I, that's what I want to do. Do you get a different energy being in like a concert or rapping for people than you do when you're in the studio? A certain certain uh, energy that you get from like from off the people yeah, that you yeah. don't get in the studio. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I mean, but no, it's crazy because in the studio, I like to really think about that shit. I like to really sit down and do my work, so I don't really like distraction like that. But so it, it's really two different things. Because in the studio, I just need, I just need to be me, man. I just need to get focused. I can be having no distraction, not too much weed smoking, not shit like that. But when I'm performing, man, I, I need my people's there, man. I, I need that vibe, man, for sure. Can you tell me <clears throat> what's the most valuable lesson that you feel like you've learned in your life? Most valuable lesson, man. Shit, man. It's never over till it's over. You could be down bad right now, but you know, tomorrow you you know you could be at you could have you know had the most money of your life or be in being be in the best best position of your life that you never that you never been in. So I just it ain't over till it's over, man. Don't give up. Like I'm saying, like I was one of the ones that people would have thought, you know, be sitting in jail doing a whole bunch of time and shit like that. But when I came, when I came off of prison, man, I, I switched it up a little bit. Had to turn it down a notch on the, for, for the streets, you know, and turn and turn up my knowledge a little bit. So, you know, it, you know, people have counted me out a long time ago, but I'm still here. I'm still doing what I'm supposed to do, and I'm still be, being able to give back to my peoples and, and, and be and be somebody for my peoples. Appreciate your time, cuz. Appreciate you, man. Six voices, honey. If you like this video, you like this content, subscribe and like to GV Local.